In this video, we'll do the integral of e to the x squared, given that the integral of e to the minus x squared equals the square root of pi over 2 times the error function of x plus c. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Okay, so there's no antiderivative of e to the x squared, so we have to use the special function. Okay, e to the x squared equals e to the minus 1 times minus 1 times x squared. So how do we combine these? So minus 1... So we have that the square root of minus 1 is defined as i. So when we square both sides, minus 1 equals i squared. So this would be e to the minus 1 times i x quantity squared, because i squared is minus 1 times minus 1 gives us 1 times x squared. Okay, good. So we have the integral of e to the x squared equals the integral of e to the minus 1 times i x quantity squared. So we can do a simple u substitution, u equals i x, du equals i dx. We're going to multiply by i, and then we're going to divide by i. Okay, good. So this will be in the integral of e to the minus i, I x is u squared. Now we have du over u. So now we're going to plug this integral into here. Instead of x, we're going to use u. So this will be... 1 over i, square root of pi over 2, the error function of, we have u, which is i x, and then plus c. So that is the first way of getting this integral using a special function. Now look at the second way. So e to the z equals the sum, as n goes from 0 to infinity, of z to the n over n factorial. Plugging in z equals x squared, you get the sum from n goes from 0 to infinity of instead of z we have x squared to the n but we can multiply that in so that'd be x to the 2n over n factorial this equals e to the x squared so now the integral of e to the x squared will be the integral of the sum from n goes from 0 to infinity x to the 2n over n factorial dx okay so now we can move the sum to the outside and anything with n to the outside without x. So this 1 over n factorial doesn't, not dependent on x, so we can move that out. So that would be the integral of x to the 2n dx. We can finally rewrite this. So x, the integral of x to the 2n, simple, it's reverse power rule. That would be x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. And then finally, we have to add c, so this c is outside the sum. And that is the second way of doing this, and, that's the, and this is the first way of doing this, and that is the end of the video. Hope you liked it.